Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to restart Steam. You can just exit and relaunch the Steam and then check. Try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX12. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to rename the config folder. Now when you rename the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open Your Username folder. Now open App Data folder. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View, Select Show, put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder. Open the Local folder. Open Frontier Developments folder. Open the Game folder. Here you can see Config Local. You can make a right click. You can rename this folder. Now once you rename it, now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. For this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now over here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, you can make a right click on the game exe file. Select properties. And then Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again and this time you can try Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, make a right click, go to properties and this time select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes, and hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app, browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Open the Steam folder. Open the Steam apps folder. Open the common folder. Open the game folder. Now over here, select this game exe file over here and then click on open. Once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app, click on browse. Go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file over here and then click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added over here, now launch the game and then check. Still not working. Now, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or you can add the complete game folder to the exception list. Now, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So, if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card over here and then select your operating system. Click on Find. Now on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver, whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, you can click on view and then you can click on download. Now once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file, click on it. Once you run the exe file, click on yes to allow and then click on OK, click on agree and continue. Select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings, click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, scroll down, find the game in the list 
and then click on the game. Over here, select high performance. You will see your graphic card over here. Now launch the game and then check. Still not working, disable integrated graphic card. So if your computer has a uh, dual graphic card, like make a right click on the start menu, go to device manager, and then expand display adapter. Now over here, in my case, I have Intel Nvidia. So you can select the inbuilt graphic card and then make a right click and then click on disable device, relaunch the game and then check. If that that if that does not work, you can enable the uh, display and like the Intel one once again, make a right click, enable device. And after you disable it, if the game is running fine, then once you are done playing the game, you can make a right click and you can enable the integrated graphic card after you play the game. Now the next step is to roll back graphics card drivers. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working in that case, once you select your graphic card and operating system, uh, you can click on view more version on this page. You can try older graphics, maybe 580, uh, not the studio one, maybe 581.29 GeForce or maybe 581 period 1.5. So you can try to install the older graphics card driver. But when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then you click on next. After that, you have to restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working, verify the game files. This is important. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working, install Visual C++ file for this Go to Microsoft website, the link is provided in the video description. Scroll down here, you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64. You have to install both the files. So download this x86 and x64, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well, and then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, and let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Now, once uh, once both are installed, you have to restart your computer. Restart is a must after this, and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable or enable Steam overlay. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then over here, you can see enable the Steam overlay while in game. You can turn this off and then relaunch the game. If this is already off, you can turn it on and then check. So you, have, you can turn it off, launch the game. If that does not work, you can turn it on and then check. Try both. And if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA, like any kind of over overlay application running, you can just close it, uh, turn off the overlay and close it. Do not overclock. You can set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert, you know. So close all kinds of overclocking application. Close all third-party application. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running. The rest close everything, including the browser. Sometimes all the apps are hidden over here. You can exit everything from here. So close, including your browsers. You can close everything and then relaunch the game. Next step is to use Intel driver and support assistant. So you can install it. If you don't have it installed, you can install it from the Intel website. You can download it, install it, and then you can launch Intel driver and support assistant. Assistant, It will scan your computer. If there is any update, it will update for you. Like you can, you will see download option or install option. Download it, install it, and then you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box, and then go to control panel. Go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Now over here, I have only balance, but if you have power saver, you can select power saver, and then you have to relaunch the game and then check. You can even go for balanced or high performance, but first of all, try power saver and then relaunch the game. Next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate. Suppose you want, this is just an example. If your monitor refresh rate is, refresh rate is 240 Hz, you can try maybe 120 Hz or maybe 60 Hz and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting, and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive 
where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 me megabyte, then 3 times multiplied 3. That is for maximum size, it's 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that it hits set and then click on OK and then OK. Okay, now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work. Then type in VR Advanced System Settings again and then click on VR Advanced System Settings. Go to Settings over here, click on Change uh, Advanced tab and then click on Change and then select System Manage Size this time and then click on Set. Set is important. Click on OK. Click on OK over here. Hit Apply. Click on OK. OK. You will see Restart option. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working, we will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings, advanced, change, and put a check on this box and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. But if you're able to launch the game, you can try window mode, lower down video settings. So if you're able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, uh, you can go to settings over here. And then you can go to display. Now, if this is set to borderless, you can try full screen. You can even go for window mode. Uh, I will go to window mode like before you go to window mode you can even lower down resolution like if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then hit apply okay and then you can switch to full screen hit apply okay and uh, here you can see uh, graphics go to graphics option if the quality preset is set to like very high uh, you can set it to high you can even uh, switch to medium or you can even go for low quality i will set it to medium anti-aliasing in my case it's taa so if you are using like nvidia dlss in that case uh, you can turn off the frame generation and then you can check but in my case i will just set it to uh, ta and ray tracing in my case i have turned it off um, and you can turn off the ray tracing nvidia reflex low latency you can turn this off and this one filtering if these are set to like high you can set to medium maybe environment quality you can try to lower it down Try to lower down and lower down the uh, graphic settings. You can just make some changes and then you can check. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. Uh, make sure that you select your computer and then like example, if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. But whichever is your brand, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then Update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices like if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it and then you can launch the game. Disconnect 
extra control sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected dongle connected disconnected disconnect external keyboard and mouse like if you have any external keyboard like razer huntsman or keychron keyboard you can disconnect it you can launch the game you can try the internal keyboard if you have undervolt it you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this, shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel